Well, the, the driving experience with this vehicle on road is, is going to be that it feels really very much like a large luxury car. But when you drive the car off-road, it's going to be extremely capable, but also extremely comfortable. It's the most advanced vehicle that we've ever made at Land Rover, and uh, it's got some extremely exciting innovations that are being seen for the first time on any vehicle in the world. The best system in the vehicle, as far as I'm concerned, is the terrain response system, and it's something which has never been seen on a vehicle before. Terrain response is all about optimizing the performance of the vehicle for the surfaces on which you're driving. And you've got a choice of five different surfaces. The uh, settings are general program for use on normal road. Then we've got slippery surfaces, like grass, snow, ice, mud and ruts. Then we've got sand and finally rocks and boulders. Just by selecting one of those five positions, the vehicle then automatically adapts a number of the electronic systems on the car to be optimised for driving on that surface. So it makes it more capable and more comfortable. The driver interface gives the driver a lot of useful messages that he needs when driving the vehicle. It gives you the navigation system, which where the wheels are pointing, what height the suspension's at. It's a very elegant display, touchscreen control, very easy to operate. The navigation system on LR3 is the latest generation of navigation systems. The real innovation is the off-road capability with contour lines and with the ability to retrace your steps using waypoints and map references. It's part of the Land Rover adventure. Uh, it's a bit of automotive uh, orienteering, if you like. It's got four-corner air suspension. So that means that we can maintain a constant ride height on the vehicle, irrespective of what load it's got in. It also means that you can drop the ride height for getting in and out of the vehicle. It makes it really easy for connecting a trailer to the tow bar. The other thing about the, the air suspension is that it's cross-linked. So at low speed, when we're off-road, the cross-linking allows us to use all of that suspension travel when we're sort of climbing over ruts or boulders, you know, how much you can get one wheel going up in one corner and down in the other. Adaptive Headlights is basically a system that um, continually monitors itself and updates itself to um, maximise the, the vision and visibility for the driver. Within each front headlamp there are two separate lights. The primary light is the bi-xenon light and that's the light that actually has the directional capability to follow the road. The second light is an auxiliary main halogen light um, which is an infill light or a, or a flashlight. It is state-of-the-art technology. It fits completely within the concept of 21st century Land Rover. It's exactly what we're aiming at, exactly what we're striving for, for a very modern and fresh vehicle. We've tested in all sorts of areas. Every country, every terrain, every altitude, every temperature, every surface that we can think of. LR3 is a 21st century Land Rover. Everything in it is brand new and everything in it is 21st century.